Yo, welcome everybody to classes in session. We are here. We are here to tell you some stuff. Let's get started. Who wants to start? I'll start. I got some current events. We're all wearing t-shirts today. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. We didn't change the painting either. Yeah. I like mine a bit. For any fun fact, for anybody who were paying attention for the last couple episodes, we changed a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have a anything on my shirt. It's green. Easter egg. You can make that anything though. Oh my god. Oh. I might have to do that now. Um, Pretend you heard that guy. Forget you guys heard yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna start off with a celebrity. I'm gonna jump right into it with Stormy Daniels. Oh, oh current events. Wow. She a celebrity. She is now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't have nah I'm gonna say it. You can almost even say she's a historical figure at this point. I don't know about that. <laughs> little munch. Uh, wow, I don't know how I can classify her. Uh, I don't know. Would you consider prostitutes like rogues? <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking rogue. Um, She's a great performer. <laughs> well, it could be Definitely like, some bard in there. Like some bard. <laughs> I don't know. Is she really a porn star? She stars in porn. Have you seen her work? Does she star? I mean, like... She's an artist. But how come... Like, the way that she works the light is every okay. So is everybody in a movie a star, then? Because it seems so. like everybody in porn is a star. If she's able to make money enough money to do it through a good chunk of her life, I think she's a star. Everyone in porn is a star because there's no support cast in a porn. That's true. Yeah, you don't have like a. Star. Everyone in a porn fucks. It's not like it's not. I have like, seen some sporting actors like the one girl's asleep. <laughs> And the other one's well, not. Yeah, <laughs> it's a sporting actor. That's just that, yeah. It's sporting porn actors. <laughs> but she's not a star. <laughs> she's, she's not a star. star. If you're talking about just her, but that's not what Stormy Daniels does. Stormy okay. Daniels creates and... Yeah, there's no porn extras, I think, is, is my point. There's yeah, no, yet. that makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I'm gonna go... She's, she's probably well-known for medical stuff as well. <laughs> she just knows the human body so well. <laughs> She's an anatomist. Yeah. Uh, wow. I just because I really can't think. Of, I'm gonna go rogue bard. Interesting. Okay. She's sneaky. Get that under. Let's see the underworld of yeah. of yeah the porn producers. What is it? The College of Tongues. <laughs> oh. College of Whispers. Whispers. She that? can't do that. She's got Where, a she one. has the lashing, she can't talk the about lashing it. tongue or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, oh jeez, I don't know, uh, I'm thinking Rogue, I'm going to say Rogue Assassin, because she is assassinating our president's character. Oh, snap. Snap! That was an awesome little twist. I hope she got paid up front, she's not doing a very good job at it. <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> Alright, so... She, I did put in her as. Ooh, I did put her in as a glamour bard. Oh, half. Yeah. Um, the rest of it, I didn't go rogue. I did go a similar path. I went shadow, way of the shadow monk, um, because. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quote the player's handbook on this because I don't want to be misconstrued about my, my views on. Hey, adult I, I mean, I think it makes sense as a monk anyway, just to have that control of your body. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She's super fit. She's on that regiment, right? But then also. The uh, way of the shadow monks, let's see. Uh, other monasteries are more like thieves' guilds, hiring off their services to nobles, rich merchants, or anyone else who can pay their fees. So, all right. All her, right. her and the other, uh, the, the rest of the porn monastery hire out their services and uh, make in, in more ways than one, both in porn and in, you know, spinning tales. Yeah. That's. That's pretty good. It's an interesting take, yeah. All right. You have your celebrity? I do have my celebrity. Uh, Did I? Oh, I know my celebrity was. I know my celebrity. So, my celebrity. It's Bard. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> GSP. Ooh. George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre. Okay. Oh, boy. Um. Uh, that, was, that abbreviation was for George Saint Pierre. Now I have a hard time with like the the only French the real world know. fighters because then it's like you know they're in the, to unarmed combat. He's a mixed martial artist. So I'm leaning monk. But then if he was 
a Dungeons and Dragons character, I could totally see him being a badass. I could see him maybe being like even a ranger, maybe some ranger levels in there. Definitely like throw some fighter, just because I know he'd be picking up. You know, he, he he's mixed with his martial arts, so I could totally see him being good with a sword and an axe and the bow and the spear, if he was in like the martial times of D and D. Hmm. It's all good points. I, uh... Yeah, I'd probably go Monk. Monk in there. Uh, beyond Monk. Yeah, I'm thinking Monk for sure. Way of the open hand. Or way of the open palm. See, see and then the drama, like, when I said, like, I think about, like, Conor McGregor, like, that kind of drama. He doesn't have that same kind of drama. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, when, did, when, did, when did he start fighting George Napier? Long time ago. That's what I thought. Cause, cause I, right, like, yeah, because I always was, think of like the CD sort of like how UFC was kind of a, it was like a cockfight. It, it was. It was after that though. It was. Um, it was. I mean, it was in their really big heyday, like the Chuck Liddell, um, uh, Randy Couture, like the Matt Hughes, late 2000s. Yeah, yeah, BJ Penn. Yeah. I yeah. I'll, I'll probably say Monk. Uh, I mean, he's still fighting, technically. He just had a fight not that long ago. Yeah, did he ass win? Beat. <laughs> did he win? <laughs> he won. Did he? Yeah, but he got his ass beat during the fight. No. I didn't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, we punched took a punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. at least. <laughs> at least one. No, he moved up a weight class. And he fought Michael Bisping, and he actually oh, won the belt from him. Oh, Michael Bisping. Yeah. Michael Bisping. 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 Michael Michael Bisping, if you're watching this, go fuck yourself. I love Michael Bisping. I don't watch wrestling. No. He's the American dream. What? It's not wrestling. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Wrestling. Yeah, he's no Ronda Rousey, who's now wrestling. Who's now wrestling? Yeah. I'm going. Uh, I'm gonna make some up. Monk fighter. Um. I'm thinking champion fighter. No, actually, you know what? Battlemaster fighter. Because that's where you get into like the grappling, you get into the pushing and shoving. I think that lends more into the hand-to-hand -hand combat that he really specializes in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go throw just maybe three levels of fighter so he can get the battle master stuff. Interesting. I just I, I'm probably just gonna go straight monk. Straight monk. Um, <clears throat> I almost went straight monk, but instead I did went I went monk and fighter. But I went fighter samurai. Ooh. Right. Because um, he really is like a, a very uh, thoughtful, introspective, you know what I mean? And, and when it comes to martial arts, he really is about, no, you have to be respectful. It's martial arts. You know what I mean? Like the honor part of it and that. So that kind of made me think that back in the day, he might have been like a samurai warrior type of, you know? Yeah. So, and then the monk, obviously, because he's very introspective and, and all that, and the hand-to-hand -hand combat and everything, so. I like it. Yeah. I want to play a samurai. I would love to yeah, play that'd be pretty cool. That would be fun. Oh, we all think it'd be fun. We should do a fucking one-off. One-off. We get Jerry. Samurai Jack. <laughs> get Jerry to DM something where just with three, uh... Well, isn't he, does he want to DM that other game? The test, the test game or something? Yeah. The call of I can't say it because it's probably under your thing. <laughs> Anyway, Dude. oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I guess legally, I didn't say that. Plus, it's a combination of the two. Yeah, so it's, yeah, a, it's a different game word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, cool. So that bus. I went with John Wayne Gacy. Hmm. Hmm. Even though he's dead. Yeah, I don't think he's historical for that. Like, I don't think he's a big enough serial killer to be historical, but. He became the prominence because of that. Oh, wait, is that what yeah, I know what my historic figure was. I mean, yeah. um, I still call him a celeb. All right, celeb. I'm thinking straight rogue. Maybe switch up proficiency for like a disguise kit instead of thieves tools and uh john wayne gacy is the one that dressed like a clown and then painted a bunch of clowns too right okay 
um, for the deception. But he actually did parties and stuff. No, yeah, but like... Yeah, it's a misdirection. It's a mix of both. Yeah. He was a freak. Psychologists even said about his clown face, the points to it were very off-putting to children. That's why most clowns will do like rounded, soft corners or whatever, the sharp things indicate. Yeah, I mean, if, if clowns really want to appeal to children, they should be drug waiters instead. Mimes. Everybody loves a mime. <laughs> I'm in a box. Stop. I like to play a mime character too, that'd be cool. That would be challenging. Yeah. I, I want to do one that can't talk. It's the total mute wall of force. Tommy from the pinball. Tommy. Pinball was The fucking who? Oh yeah, is, is he? Oh, he's deaf, dumb, and blind kid. I didn't know that Tommy was the pinball wizard. Yeah. I guess, I, I don't, I'm trying to go what, over the, 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 the last time I listened to Tommy all the way through, I think it was like nine or 10 years old. Like, I didn't really. The whole album, actually, it's a story. I know. Other than that, I just listened to Pinball Wizard and like maybe two other songs. So I don't like, I didn't catch the story then. I'm not picking it up off of two or three songs. Who? <sighs> um, yeah, I'm going Rogue, man. And then maybe, maybe Bard. I don't know what, I don't know what college, something to, for the performance and stuff like that. Was there a gesture? We were just talking about a gesture not that long ago. Was that a real thing or? We were just talking about it. I think you were talking. I think we that led into a whole thing about. I think it was about the Joker. Yeah, we were talking about the, the Joker. Joker. Yeah, and that led to a whole long conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Something about like, yeah, I'm not gonna know right now. Yeah, I don't know, man. He was a pretty twisted, angry dude, right? Mm. Uh, I, I do think he had rage and everything, but I just couldn't say calling him a barbarian it just doesn't seem to fit even with the anger i guess um i'm a rogue i mean it's, but i'm just I'm, I'm trying to think if anything else would fit with it but um so i don't even really think bard because i don't think he was very good clown at the kid shows and shit like i don't think like he wasn't super popular with it, shit. You know, from what I understand, he was an awesome clown. He's no bozo, as they say. I know the clown lingo. <laughs> He's no bozo. Fucking look it up. That's a real thing. Let me just invent it. Bozo's a real clown, though. Yeah. Bozo the clown. Um, I'm going to go straight rogue. And I kind of was thinking rogue assassin, even though it wasn't, like, Hate assassin. He was still killing people yeah. for just for funsy. So that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I did put uh, Rogue in there. Um, yeah, I went straight Rogue. Rogue. I, I was thinking you guys are gonna jump more on the Bard thing. I mean, he he could have a touch of it, just a. Yeah, but yeah like the the deception, the you just the. I I, I agree. I could probably fight a little bit for barbarian. Like it just. Yeah. Brutal murderer. I mean, his painting might might bring him more into the bard, I think, than his clown, because his painting actually, I mean, weren't he wasn't unskilled, right? I mean, he was able to. I mean, they were all clowns or whatever. So if you like that kind of shit, right? But but he like stayed in the lines and everything, basically. For sure. Yeah. Word. I'll have to choose the next category. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do my character because he's pretty cool. Uh, I chose Timmy Turner. Who? Timmy Warlock. Turner. From uh, Fairly Odd Parents. The kid in Fairly Odd Parents. He's a kid with, uh, with two fairy godparents who grant wishes for him. And uh, he's it's a cartoon. He's just kind of this like loser kid. His parents are like dopey. He was an average kid. No one understands that his mom, his dad, and Vicky are always giving him commands. Yeah, that's the beginning of the song. Well, I've never heard of it. They, they set him up to, uh, to clean his room. That's not the next line. Uh, Mom and Dad and Vicky always giving him commands. commands. It's something something in his do, room. Do 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 in his room. Spoke do, in instantly. Our magic little fish to grant his every wish. His and two, 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 two
Yeah, it's a husband and wife. Yeah. Like, uh, granted, it's every wish. As long as it falls in under the rules. Yeah, and it's like a, a magical rule book they'll summon and be like, nope, that, we can't do that. That's not within the rules. Yeah, it's kind of like a genie sort of like rule book. So you can't make somebody fall in love with you, a bunch of shit like that. Can't wish for more wishes. Well, he gets the They're unlimited ones. wishes. It's, so, it's yeah. an age thing until you like age out. Yeah, it sounds like Warlock, like he made a deal or something. Yeah. Although he's not the one doing the wishing, though. They, they are. Well, I'm gonna put I him mean, in. They're the one doing the magic. Or yeah. Whatever. Pact of the Fae, Warlock. Um, because I mean the rules that a pact that they're bound to him. Um, I'm, I'm, there, there's stuff he has to do too, right? Like he has to hold up kind of his end of something. He, he can't be like a dick with them. I don't think he can wish himself like God King of the World or anything. Right? Yeah, that, that's all under the rules. And I mean, he still has to be like a kid, and like they try to teach moral lessons throughout it. But it's more like to help him because he's having a bad life. To help him, whatever. Like he can't let anybody know about his. Fairies, the way I'm pretty sure that they. Oh yeah, he has to keep them secret. So then there's the one of his teachers is like the bad guy of the series who's trying to expose his fairies, and Timmy has to keep them under wraps. Hmm. And if they see it, they'll take him away and take any any memory of them. Yeah, I think that sounds like kind of warlocky then, right? Because he's got to do what they need, and he made the pact with them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he basically reads the rules. No. Yeah. Yeah, you pretty much hit that on. Yeah. I know it'd be a cool one though. No, yeah, talk about TV Turner. Some fresh, some fresh fucking some fresh and some perspective. Clean. You want to go? Yeah. Your character? Gummy bear. Oh yeah, that was in there. I hit it so that tune you wouldn't need it. What? Oh, I don't know why I'm looking at that. Um, I'm waiting for that whole tap. <laughs> my character is... <clears throat> and I, 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 I classed in two different ways. Spider-Man. Oh, I wish it's Spider-Man. That's so weird. I stopped myself. And I texted him. I, 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 I uh, classed him two different ways. One uh, where he makes his own web shooters, and the other where it's like he keeps his body produced it. Oh, interesting. Right? Because I didn't, like, it didn't make sense to have it with both. <laughs> Good singer. <me>. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. All right. So, I think one of them's got to be an artificer, and hmm. I'm thinking artificer, and I almost. I'm trying to, to figure out maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna invent a new patron right now. I'm gonna go Pact of the Spider Warlock because even though he didn't really make a deal with that radioactive spider, because he still got bit, right? That just he couldn't throw web. Yeah, like he, he, he got, yeah. He got That's where he gets the spider web. sense yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, he self imposes a pact on himself. With great power comes great responsibility. If I'm gonna have these powers, I have to use, not like I can, I can do the, like I have to use these powers to save people. So it's almost like this like self-imposed warlock pact with kind of, kind of the spider which gave him the power of like, all right, well you did this for me, I'll do this for the city of New York and the world. That's pretty interesting. I like that. Yeah, yeah I was thinking about like a warlock, I was trying to figure out how that would kind of work. I'm like, yeah, the spider, I probably throw some warlock in there. Um, I I'd almost go a little roguish with that as well. You know, he's got his disguise, and you know, he's always making a couple disguises. He does some, you know, what I mean, like he's gotta be stay hidden, stay in the shadows in a way. Oh, man. He's so smart that he creates stuff. He's almost like a wizard though too. Hmm. I, I'm just fucking cover my bases. Let's go warlock. Wizard, rogue. Okay, and that's for <clears throat> if he shoots his webs or he makes his webs. That's, think, for, that's for, oh. Yeah, I mean, it was for him making it, but at the same time, too, I could see him just, like, generally how smart he is. Even, like, Peter Parker and, you know, he's so smart, he can create shit right. and do it. 
but yeah, I could almost say it could cover most of those. I don't know how the like, proportions may change, right? But I think all three of those would kind of fit both of them. Um, yeah, that was for him building it. For him being bitten and the web comes out of his wrist, I think I'll put him in as <laughs> Ranger Sorcerer. Ooh, that's not a bad one, right? Yeah, maybe Sorcerer. Uh, uh, I might have got it. <laughs> I might have throw some Ranger in there. <laughs> Sorcerer. Sharpshooter. Oh my god, he's a sharpshooter ranger. Yeah. <laughs> with his Even though he wasn't born with it, it's still innate to him. He doesn't need to build oh, yeah, anything and add to him to become Spider Man. He's just, now you're Spider Man. You have the spider sense, you can shoot webs, you can climb walls, you don't need the suit, it's just you. Well, wouldn't that still be Warlock? Like, you made a deal with somebody and then became powerful. Yeah. I shouldn't be trying to talk you out of your thing or into yeah, something I mean, else, but yeah, it gets pursued to though later on because like he's there depending on the story. I mean, he's there because he's on a school trip. But he's also interested. It's possible he could have done that from being at Oscorp in the future anyway. And then later on, I'm pretty sure he has to get help to kind of stop what's going on, like grabbing the extra legs and arms and shit. Plus, the other one, he could have artificed the webs only wanted, but. He wouldn't be able, like, he probably wouldn't even be able to withstand those forces swinging around between buildings if he wasn't Spider Man. Mm -hmm. So he, he needed something else to be able to use the stuff he was using mm -hmm. or building. Um, I want to multi class the, the inborn, the, the in web guy, though. You know what? Maybe. I was thinking maybe a little bit of Divination Wizard for the spider side. That's, dude, I thought the same thing, I'm like, I can't, and that's part of the reason, like, I think you flip for a little bit. One's Divination, one's just his intelligence, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, because I think the Sorcerer covers the powers and the stuff like that. Um, divination Wizard to reflect his intelligence and also do a flavor for the spider sense. I'm pretty sure he helps out with, like, finding cures and stuff for some of these other, like, monsters and beasts and other stuff too, which kind of falls under wizard, you know, alchemy and stuff like that too. No. It also helps the general public out of his goodness. Very paladin. He's a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Almost paladin -y. paladin -y. Oh. Yeah. He could the be. Oath, the pact then? No. I don't know if he's just misdirecting or just, he's just, what sticks? <laughs> he's hyperactive. <laughs> All right, so, I, I did have two different classes and it wasn't the same for for both ones like like how you did although i liked how that did kind of fit in pretty good i went monk the way it open hand because he's a pretty good fighter mm -hmm. in addition to his, his spider sense and all that stuff right he's able to you know his reaction time and everything's pretty good um but i also went <clears throat> wizard because one his intelligence right is off the charts um um you know, his science and his nerdy stuff and all this mixing of the chemicals and all that. We've said before, that's kind of very much like magic type stuff. But then if you think about it, right, all his web stuff could be spells, right? Web ball, spider climb, um, stuff like that, yeah. right? It could could really be spells. Some of them are spells, spell right? right? Um, now, where he created the device, I still went with Monk. And I went with Arcane Tinkerer. Because again, I thought, you know, the, the smarts of the magic and everything, and it's kind of almost magical what he could do with this, his, um, part of it is him, and part of it was what he built to enhance that. Right. You know, so I kind of thought that fit pretty well. Cool. Nice. Sounds good. That was a creative way of thinking of that, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little out of the box, I think, but I thought it was kind of interesting. No, it makes sense, because a lot of those things are, I didn't even really think of them, like, yeah. I thought like spider climb, I'm like, you can do spider climb. Yeah. It's a cantrip. Um, just cast yeah, it whenever you want. I will. Yeah. I went with, this is another cartoon character. You might have a little more familiarity with him than Timmy Turner. Ash Ketchum, Pallet Town. Oh. Gotta catch them all. Oh, I was watching mm -hmm. Pokemon the other night, too. Mm. Ooh. Wait. Battle 
Wait, what's the actual uh, definition for artificer? Artificer is someone that. Oh, actually, you know what? I've got that on Earth Recon right here. Wherefore art thou? Is that Technomancer? Every artificer is defined by a specific craft. They see mastering the basic methods of a craft as the first step to true progress, the invention of new methods and approaches. Some artificers are engineers, students of invention and warfare, who craft deadly firearms they can augment with magic. Others are alchemists, using their knowledge of magic and various exotic ingredients. They create potions and droughts, uh, drafts to aid them on their adventures. Hmm, he does try a different approach. I would, uh... I definitely say, God, he's almost he's almost a battle master. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm gonna go with. Um, I'm gonna go battle master. I'd almost throw a bit of. Uh, I, I don't know how I would consider actually capturing Pokemon. Like, is that hunting? Is that? Scout, you know, is that collecting? You know what I mean? Right. Is he almost like an archaeologist? No. You building a case? I'm winning this one, motherfucker. I didn't realize this was a competition. I thought this was a free and open forum to speak our minds about what we think about. Uh, <laughs> Life is competition. <laughs> Being first, you're last. <laughs> yeah. That makes no sense. There's second, there's third, there's more. You can be fourth. There's a lot of places. But... I'm gonna go. I'm sorry, which category is Battle Master under? Is that rope? No, fighter. 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 Fuck yeah, I'd almost multi class in fighter. Fighter, fighter? Firefighter. He's a firefighter. Um. Fighter, master. Battle Master. And I gotta throw one more class in there. Let's say. We go Ranger. Shit. Alright, I'm going Ranger. Oh, son of a bitch. Um, Beastmaster. Yeah. Ranger's Companion. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, the animals, all that stuff. The, you know, the nature. Um, I thought I couldn't remember which category that was under. Fuck. <laughs> um, that's why I grabbed the. I'm like, okay, I gotta. And then when you said range, I'm like, shit. Uh, and I also think battle master because and I was going back and forth on that at first because I'm like, well, how much just, of a battle copy, master yeah, is he? Because the the Pokemon are doing the fighting, right. but he has to use the strategy on which one to use at which time, and he calls out the moves and shit, whether they listen to him or not, right? So um, I'm gonna say mostly ranger. With just enough battle master to kind of do what he's got to do. All right. But the ranger's big with the you know beast companion and all that shit. Yeah. Um, I class him straight beast master. Fuck! I yeah. almost did that. I was like, because I just I even said I was going back and forth on yeah. battle master. Yeah. Battle master reason... was the first thing that came to mind to me, so it was like hard to like. Yeah, the reason I didn't go Battle Master was because the, the Pokemon are fighting, and even though he has to do kind of think about the tactics and stuff like that, he's not that good at that. Right. Um, like he that, seems to win in spite of himself. Right. It really, hit the the cause like he eventually learns and stuff like that. But in the show, that stuff matters a lot less than it does in the games, where he can be a rock ground Pokemon with his Pikachu because. They spray it with a sprinkler, and that overcomes the type stuff. And now you can just shock. Like right. it's they just kind of fuck with that. And he's like, if you have the bond with your Pokemon, right? The, you the bond can win. and the yeah. perseverance, and the, yeah, if you have the heart, right? See, I, that's why I almost went straight Ranger, but I didn't. I thought for sure you were gonna have some Battle Master no. because of the yeah. No. If he was good, if he was if he was red, yeah, probably some Battle Master because he's a badass and he knows what he's doing. But Ash doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. Right. No, for sure. Let me see that. I'm right. just good. I agree. You wanna go on our last one? Yeah. Um Alright, historical figure. figure. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. Druid. Johnny Appleseed.
Honey apple seed is it? Oh yeah, nature, right? Although he was on this horse, he could also have a. What Jared can ride horses? <laughs> I didn't yeah, realize that. Like, no, <laughs> that's his companion, like for ranger. Oh. I didn't know he was on a horse. I thought he was hoofing it. Oh, I thought he was riding too. Maybe that was the uh, British is coming. Yeah, that's over here. here. That's over here. Yeah. Is this same guy? No. No. <laughs> <Too long. laughs> yeah, I. Yeah, do I see that? I don't know. Was, yeah, I probably go druid. I don't know enough about them, but I know I plant a lot of apple seeds. Yeah. I planted all the apple seeds in America to this day. Why did you do that again? Loved apples. Just did it for the love of apples. Hated seeds. Hated seeds, loved apples. Well, no, it's because the, the Spanish, the first draft of the, the land that we get, basically Florida and stuff like the land that we got from Spain, the first draft of the treaty was basically it was the border of where the apple trees would grow because the apple trees would only naturally grow above like a certain line essentially where the weather was different so he went around and planted a bunch of apple seeds around outside of that to like illegally expand the land holdings of louisiana mm, okay i don't know if he i think he's so full of shit right now and it's not positive because i don't even know if he's a real yeah, person i'm pretty not. sure he's full of shit it took me a minute but I'm like, wait, do they have apple trees in Louisiana? That's all swamp. I don't think they do. Yeah, not naturally. Yeah, peaches. Thank you, Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> what, what, the real reason he did this was because he needed enough apple seeds to mass produce arsenic to try to kill his enemies. Oh, very roguish. <laughs> Rogue assassin. <laughs> the alchemist, the poison. Huh. Yep. So I gotta think the cleric's in there for sure, right? Life domain. Um, Why is there even an obsession on medically religion? <laughs> <laughs> I like apple seeds a lot. I'm gonna go plant some apple trees. It's your religion now. <laughs> you worship him? Then there's me. No. Is in this the, religion? There's no, me it's in the corner losing he's, my religion. He's creating life. Trees are living beings. Interesting. He's creating life. Are you saying that El Chapo and... is a fucking creating life cleric? Yes. <laughs> and. He's creating life. <laughs> And the food that he's creating is then sub sustaining people life. Interesting. I like it. And a little bit of druid. I'm just going straight druid. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> I went I went straight druid, so Thank circle, circle of the lamb. Thank you, God. <laughs> Praise be unto thee. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I don't even know how much that was fact. <laughs> I don't think we discussed a single historical fact about Johnny Appleseed that whole time we were... Usually we're like, oh yeah, like... His name wasn't even Johnny, it was Jonathan. <laughs> Johnny, <God>. Johnny <laughs> was... Fat pony. Johnny was his middle name. It was Jonathan Johnny. <laughs> it, used to be Jonathan, it used to be Jonathan Sunflower Seeds. And then he realized these are stupid. <laughs> Want a name change? Can Johnny Jan Appleseed with no H? It's just J O N N Y. Johnny Appleseed. He's eating the seeds with the shells on them and tearing up his butt when he's pooping them out. That's how he plants them. Oh, fertilizer. fertilizer. Yep. But see, that's why he switched to appleseed. Much because the sun seed of that's terrible. It wouldn't up. make it through there. No. no. All right. Uh, I guess I'll go with my historical figure now. Hashtag fact check. <laughs> uh, I did Cleopatra. As we know, son of a bitch, the first one to settle North America. <laughs> Sorry, they were just messing. With me. Did you choose Cleopatra? She was on my short list, but I chose something similar. Oh god, did you choose Mark Anthony? Nope. All right, all right. But it's close enough to yeah. Oh, Nephrodite. No. Is it Nephrodite? No. All right, all right. Cleopatra. All right, Cleo, Cleo. Um. Oh, she was a slut, wasn't she? She was an effective slut. I mean, she breathes, she's a thought, but... <laughs> well, she was a smart, like, uh, uh, tactician, too, right? Like, she was... <laughs> she was fucking for power. Like, she was bringing empires together. And so basically, Stormy Daniels is like Cleopatra reincarnated. But opposite. She's tearing shit apart. 
to rebuild it from the ground up. Wow, see, she was just bringing <laughs> shit together. I think she's a life uh, cleric. Imagine she used her though. pussy as... Like, she had puss, but I'm pretty sure she poisoned people, though. Can you imagine being in the Roman Emperor and just being, like, summoned to Egypt to get laid and just, like... Boys, <laughs> drop what I'm doing. I gotta like, clear my schedule. Cleopatra just asked me to come to Egypt. Can you I hope the, she's still in the mood in eight months when I get there. You can't get the thirst to actually go through the desert. <laughs> <laughs> she better be wet, wetter than the Nile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Um, this place sucks. Where's Cleopatra? Well, she was sneaky and, like, like you know, was, like, working both sides and trying to, you know what I mean, do what was good for her country and herself, but she was playing like three, four different people all at the same time, right? So I think there's gonna be a little, bit of, a little bit of rogue in there. Yeah. But yeah. also, I mean, I don't, you might want to even say fucking battle master because the tac tactitional part, because didn't she do some warring too and, and like, but, and oh, but maybe warring. that was more one of her fucking people. Warring and whoring are very like a lot uh, of blood. All right, so I'm gonna say roll. I'm gonna get kicked off the show. Sure. <laughs> Pray for JTP because he got me too. Oh God. Then he's on E News. You know how they know it's fake? Cause no girl will let, them, let me touch them at all. <laughs> They're like he hasn't left his house in four months. When did this happen? <laughs> Um, oh man, oh, that's rough, man. That's rough. I think I gotta go all rogue. Noble background. She didn't fight. She's probably a garbage artist. You could say horns and art. She's probably a really good artist. <laughs> she was pretty good at it. She was rolling a fucking country. Hmm. She had people on tap across the... I'm also, maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little pally in there? I don't know what oath, though. Oath of the ancients, because their, their religion kind of, or, ah, barbarian wouldn't fit, because they did the ancestor stuff. Uh, I'm going to mix a rogue paladin. It's a weird mix, but I'm going to stick with it. Mm -hmm. I know Definitely rogue. There's rogue in there. I mean, she was shady, and you know what I mean. And whether it was for good reasons or whatever, right? She was just backstabbing, double crossing the whole thing. Uh, plus, she was sledding around, which um, when I say that, it sounded very judgy. Not at all. Not judging at all. I encourage sledding around. In fact, I will help you participate in such activities if so needed. Call the number below. Hashtag Keith got me too. <laughs> <laughs> We're all getting me too tonight. Me too. <laughs> Pound me too. We're all we're getting fired. When somebody fucking did you hear that? that somebody said that. Like my friend just fucking said that to me. He's like, you know, hashtag. A lot of people call that a pound. Pound me too. That's not no. really, like the best fucking thing that's used for that. I was like, oh, that's kind of funny, but I don't want to laugh. Like you know what I mean? Like. Oh my, I was just, okay, really quick one. I was literally thinking the other day, I'm like, what age do I get to where I, like, I stop forgiving the people that are my same age for being what I think are idiots? Be like, oh, like, I'm good with computers, whatever else like that. I understand, like, maybe somebody my age just didn't do it that much, but, like, I gotta imagine at the age of 40, not knowing what hashtag is, and then, you know, like, there's gotta be a breakoff point. Right. No, he knew, they knew what it was. It was just like, you know, that a lot of people before would call it the pound. The pound sign. Like, and then with the Me Too, it just kind of like, oh, that doesn't, you know, it just, yeah, it made me laugh. So, I'm sorry, what are you locked in on? I locked in on Pally Rogue. Pally Rogue? Uh, it's Rogue, but... <laughs> Multi-Rogue? Pally Rogue? <laughs> Happy Pride Month. The Pan Rogue. I think I'm gonna go straight Rogue. All right. Rogue. Okay. Yeah. Cause that could play into her politician shit and everything. Politicians are, are shady and stuff. You know who else is all Rogue? All Roker. That was horrible. So... I, we're not gonna acknowledge that even happened in my life. No. Uh, so you guys guess that there might be some rogue in there. Don't know how. Um, I I battled back and forth whether or not to throw some some battle master in there. Mm -hmm. 
uh, if if I'm right, she did command some armies. Right, that's what I was thinking too. I, I wasn't 100. And that's then she was... influenced to command other armies. Like yeah. that's like a that's the top of the pyramid of the battle. You know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, I, I would combine those two in there. It probably majority rogue, probably just enough to become a battle master. Yeah, that was, those are kind of, those traits that really just play off of each other. Yeah, I was I was heavily leaning towards battle master, but then I was like, eh, I don't, I didn't know for sure. So yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. But Cleopatra looks like Rihanna. Really? What? I think she looks like Penelope Cruz. Oh yeah. Let's not get into the why, but... <laughs> when I understand her eye makeup was on fleek. That's why you know, they still say on fleek? No. No, you're out. Say no. You're out on that. Uh, Lit? It's no. yeet. They always say it's yeet anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Yeet's the only thing... It's the only, it's, it can be anything you want to be. It's an adverb. It's a noun. It's whatever you want it to be. It's just yeet. Yeet. There you yeet. go. Yeet. Let's go yeet. All right. Let's see what your close... My... Close is Alexander the Great. Alexander the Great. Fuck, I should have known. I, Alexander, Alexander the Third of Macedon. Oh man, how does this just keep happening? Battle Master. I thought you were gonna say Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Battle Master for one hundred percent sure. Battle, yeah, Battle Master for sure. Um, I'm trying to remember if he was a good in hand to hand combat, or if I could see him with the bow. Ooh, it almost put. I want to say Rogue Mastermind too, just because he was so. I'd almost go a little Cavalier. So long game, yeah. like whether it was strategically, you know, let's take this city, then that city, then we'll double back around and we'll work down the river, and we'll take a couple cities here, we'll restock at that. Like whether it was the grand strategy of taking over the entire Persian Empire, or the tactical side of. Move, move our flank up this way. Pull our horses back in. Charge with the spear. Whatever it was, he just had that mind for. He was always steps ahead of everyone else. Mm. So I have to put both of those classes in there, even though he wasn't super sneaky necessarily. Otherwise, um, I mean, see, it's the thing, I, I I can only imagine him doing some back alley deals and other shit and stuff like that too. Like it's that's part of being a battle master. Like in that time, dealing with. You know Cleopatra and all these other ones too. It's like it's sitting down there. It's like, hey, will you do this? You know, it's just like civilization. Right. I sit there and I'm like, hey, I'm gonna give you all this stuff and then declare war on you, so I get it back and just just destroy you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I, I'd probably get the same too. Same. Yeah. So, what I found out when I was reading up on him I we're gonna add him is something. he's never lost a battle, even though he was usually. I found that fascinating. So, I classed him two different ways too. I did one just to be funny, and I thought this was humorous. Isn't it a bone? Uh huh. What? It's a warlock who made a deal with a war god, and for his power, he had to constantly be waging war. That's why, like, he basically was, his whole reign was war. Like he was fighting battle after battle. What do you got? Do you know? Do you remember what he died of? Malaria. Don't. I don't think it was malaria. <laughs> I didn't really matter. It didn't really matter what he died of. I just see there was a battle he lost. Yeah. <laughs> um, but what I went with, like for the real thing, was to fight a battle master because he had never lost a battle, and that was so prominent. Even though he, you know, he probably had some bard in him because politically speaking, in front of all that, you know what I mean, all that shit too. I just was so impressed with the never lost a battle, especially usually undernumbered. Like I figured in this world, like, like yeah, that doesn't happen. So right. that, that, I don't even think the first one's that far far fetched from it. Yeah, just to be like, you never lost a battle. That's the fucking. It's like, hey, how do you keep winning the lottery? Every month, it's like right. who who do you who are you screwing? Right, and it's Cleopatra. Yep, <laughs> Cleopatra could be a god of war incarnate, huh? and he made a deal with her. He's trying to court death. He's Thanos. Right. I saw this video about one of his battles, one of Alexander's battles, and it was a siege where the the city in question was an island. It was a walled island with a fleet that was again way bigger than his fleet he only had you know, a handful of ships and they had their fucking all their ships and uh he was like all right uh looks a little shallow here build a fucking bridge 
and his engineers <laughs> came in and they started building a fucking bridge across and the, they were like, oh fuck, send our ships out to fuck with them. Sent their ships out and he was like pulling his catapults down this bridge as it was getting built until they were in line, started shooting, forced their ships out, and then he came in and like fucked with their docks and stuff like that. Got his way, not then, they, they kind of forced them back. But um, a couple days later, he got his way into the city and just fucking killed everyone. It was like, Hashtag this man doesn't give up. <laughs> who, who was that? Alexander. That was Alexander the yeah, that's, that, that was what I was referencing. That was as he was working his way oh. down, um, like, the oh, then Palestinian then area, like, the around the Mediterranean. And then when he got to, like, basically the Suez Canal, he oh. decided to go back up and then around kind of this river and... Everyone in Persia was expecting him to just cut straight across. Mm -hmm. So their army was here, and he snuck around back behind them and just fucked all these cities before anyone even knew where he was. Hmm. Nuts. Just like civilization. Yep. And from what I understand, funny, he was a really good politician, too. Like, He'd be smart. Cool. Politically. I mean, in all fairness, his name wasn't Alexander the I. Right. <laughs> the, yeah, Alexander the. Yeah. Alexander the very forgettable. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander the who? Yeah. He sang um, Pinball Wizard. Alexander, what? <laughs> Alright. Alright, guys. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, it's been a ride. Quick update. We are going to start reducing this down to every other week, so don't keep your eye out. I don't know if we mentioned that to them. Uh, don't keep your eye out on the weeklies. We're going to start filling in every other week with our other show, which is concerning various eldritch topics and shadowy conspiracies. Uh, so keep an eye out there. We didn't name that show yet, did we? Not yet. No. But... No, we did. We By did the not. time you see this video, there'll be a name up on. There'll be another actual pay, uh, page on our D&D Ultra website. And you'll be able to click there. There's one that says uh, Classes in Session. There'll be one right next to that to the right. And that's going to be our new edition. You got any names? Put them in the comments box. Maybe we'll change it. Probably not. No. Maybe. As always, right? Um, if you have anybody you want us to class. Um, you think we did a good job, a horrible job, you do it differently, put it all below in the comments. Um, it's getting hard to find new ideas on who to class, so help, you us. Know, help us out. Help man. us help do you. It. Yeah, hopefully you're having fun with it. Give us some ideas. I mean, this is my job, so I, I, I need you guys. The lights go out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks guys, and we'll see you next time. Night. Mahalo.